This lesson has us comparing the three different types of graphs that we've learned about so far, linear, exponential, and quadratic. So what I'd like you to do in example one is plot the points, and then you have to tell whether it's linear, exponential, or quadratic. Now, even if you can look at the points and figure out the answer, you still need to plot them because that's what it says in the directions. So I'd like you to do the three examples on your own, and when you're ready, play the video. All right, hope you did well. When you're looking at a table, you want to look for the differences. We know that linear has a constant difference in the y values. We know that exponential has a constant ratio or factor in its y values. Quadratics don't have something in what's called their first differences, which is what we calculated here. But then if you go to find the differences of the differences, which we call second differences, because differences of differences is hard to understand, then those are the same. So linear and uh, exponential, you just see this uh, similar pattern. Whereas quadratic, you have to go one more step extra to find those differences. Once you find the constant second differences, then you can say, oh, it's quadratic. Um, so let's check out example two. We have to say whether it's linear, exponential, or quadratic, and we're going to practice by finding the differences. So eight, 11 to 8 is minus 3. Oops, that's very sloppy. Hold on. Uh, 8 to 5 is also minus 3. And you see this difference is the same, so that makes it linear. Now let's check out letter B. This would be uh, minus 1, that would be plus 3, that would be plus 7. So it's certainly not linear. Um, so let's check exponential. That is times negative 1. That's times negative 2. That's times 4.5. So it's certainly not exponential either. So let's check out quadratic. So minus 1, that was plus 3. This was plus 7. And this is plus 11. So now I go and find the second level of differences. This is plus 4 this is plus 4, this is also plus 4. So since the second differences are the same, then we say this is quadratic. Now if you want to go ahead and check the second differences before you do exponential, you can. You didn't have to do it in that particular order. I just did it in that order because it was the order of the directions. But it doesn't matter when you find it, just find it. Example three is a little similar. We have to find uh, the type of function, but then once we figure out the function, we have to use the knowledge of formulas that we've done so far and write the appropriate formula. So first thing you have to do is figure out what type of function it is. So pause the video and check out um, the three different ways and tell me what it is. All right, so the first part is that I've calculated that this this table is representing a quadratic function. So this is the formula I'm going to use. Now the question is, how do you plug the values in the formula? Well, if you look at the formula, the only thing you have to plug in is what the value for a would be, because y and x stay y and x. You just plug in for a. So I have to figure out what a would represent. Now what's really cool is that I can plug in these values in the table and find a because wherever I see an x, I can put a value from the table, and wherever I see a y, I can put its corresponding value from the table. So I'll pick a simple one. Well, don't pick 0, 0, because that won't really help. I'll pick 4, 4. Just randomly, I selected it. So 4 equals a times 4 squared. So solve for a. 4 equals a times 16, divide by 16, a equals, uh, I'll reduce and say one fourth. So the function for this is y equals one fourth x squared. And go ahead, try it with another value. Try it with two one or six nine. You'll get the same value for a. 
And you can always do that, plug your values in the table into the function and just solve for whatever letter you're trying to get. These are representations of what we've talked about, linears, exponentials, and quadratics. So i just like you to look over that. Um, hopefully it's nothing new. And if you have any questions, write them down and ask me when you come to class.